What up, y'all? This is Shan, and this is Cozy Womb. This is episode 46, Hop on a Baby in 2018. Hmm. And I said, you know what? Let's really talk about this, because I understand why people really, right now, are going half on a baby in 2018. Because, baby! Yeah, let's get into it. Now, we all know that oh, your nephews, your nieces, your cousins, your friends' babies, they look cute, they sound cute, they're cute in the outfits, they're cute in the pictures, they're cute when they um say please, they're cute when they smile, they're cute when they sleep, but they cost, okay? They cost a lot of money. The average cost of having a baby in 2018 vaginally is between $5,000 and $11,000, okay? If you have a C-section, it could be between $7,500 and $14,500, depending on if you have simple complications. Now, if you have more complications than most, it could be a lot higher, sometimes almost 20 Gs. Okay, this baby ain't got no name. This baby ain't seen a lot of day yet, but it's already costing you. Federal laws mandate pregnancy and maternity care be covered in health insurance. So if you're a woman and your health insurance is kind of high, that may be because that's already covered within it. Uh, The cost of having a baby is expensive because you're going to pay for it. And the foods you got to eat. You got to make healthier choices. Um, You probably work less because you're pregnant. And there's going to be days where you don't feel like getting up. And doing a lot of things. And you're going to need to change your wardrobe. I had to buy um, large and Zara's clothes the whole time I was pregnant. Because I refused to buy maternity clothes. Okay. We're going to be some cute Zara loose fitting clothing and then when I'm not pregnant I'll just sleep in it you know what I'm saying but I'm not buying maternity clothes use a lie um the cost of living with kids is ridiculous um right now I want to say I'm at least putting out (sighs) anywhere from 800 to a thousand dollars outside of my household just for kids things and things that come with my kids and that's just me by myself so it's kind of like yes if I work two jobs it's kind of like one is for me and one is for the kids one is for me and my adult bills and my adult life and one is for the kids and as a mom I have to do it but they're expensive so I get why people are out here saying oh I'm not having no kid unless I'm married I'm not having no kid unless um, I'm together with this person for X amount of years because they want to make sure that someone can help them with the cause that comes with these children because it is real out here. Yes, my um, children have two parents, but at the same time, is it even all the way around? Hell no. Is it balanced all the way around? Hell no. Like, I'm doing pretty much everything by myself and it sucks because by all fairness it should be uh their dad and me doing what needs to be done for them but that's not how it is for right now so um yeah it sucks but saving before you have kids you can try but the cost of kids every year gets higher and higher because more brands want to do this more brands want to um use this type of fabric more brands want to make the stroller look a certain way and then they put a higher cost on it because it looks luxurious and they come up with you know smarter ideas for strollers instead of having like another seat in the back for an older child maybe you have like a little flat platform where the child could stand up that's older and the other baby could be sitting down like that's cute I thought about that um, 
with, you know, Anya and Ari. But at the same time, I was like, hmm. First of all, Anya feels like a grown man in weight. I'm not going to push her around standing up or not standing up in no stroller with Ari. Second of all, Ari doesn't even like sitting in the stroller for a long period of time, let alone her car seat. So what I look like having a jogger stroller, umbrella stroller, and then another stroller just because it's um, intriguing because a kid could stand up in the back of it. No, I'm not. Because you get to a point where either you give the stuff away when you're done using it or you um try to sell it off which probably doesn't work because people who have new babies want new things they don't want to use something used unless it's your used things um or i probably give it to like a family member of mine that has another baby coming hopefully it's being a girl but most of the times when i do buy my kids things i buy it looking unisex because i clearly wanted a boy but that's not what I got. So, yeah, most of the stuff is unisex, so that helps um, when I need to give it away to people. But most of those things right now, I've given it away. If I really, 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 really like something, I'll keep it. Um, but other than that, you spend a lot of money on things. You um, try to save for kids before you have kids but I doubt that it's going to put a dent in anything it's just a lot of costs that comes with them it's a lot of things you got to put out um, you have one time cost things like the car seat and that's only if you buy like a car seat they can grow into which can be from $180 and up stroller depending on what kind of stroller you want jogger stroller or whatever could be like from $130 and up a play yard now me I discovered from my first kid that getting a baby's crib is pointless unless you want to spend money on another bed soon. Um, a toddler, a baby crib that turns into a toddler bed, mm, that maybe that will work if you're you have a kid that has short legs. But my kids are long. My kids take up room, and most of the time. Between the both of them, they end up sleeping in my bed even though they have their own. But I bought a play yard. One, because it's easy to travel with. Two, now the play yards have like um, layers on it where you can have like a changing table on the top. Or when the baby's really young, a uh, not so low bed level. And then you can lower it all the way down when they get bigger. That's what I have for Ari now. It's fantastic. Um, I ended up with two. Because I had one for Anya before. I keep that for when I'm going to the park. And I gave... I kept that one and I gave the newer one to my brother. Because he just had another baby. So it just it's just easier. So if you're smart, you'll get a play yard instead of a crib. Diaper bag. I bought one diaper bag when I had Ari. And I still use it now. I just keep it in the car. Make sure there's a change of clothes in it. And all that other stuff. Um, a dresser, you're going to need a dresser for baby clothes because there's so many little baby pieces that you don't want to lose them by trying to hang them all in the co- in the closet. Bedding, I want to say I got at least $60 worth of bedding for um, Ari when it comes to like blankets, pillows, and stuff like that, and sheets. Feeding, cups, plates, bottles, um, uh, high chair. You're going to spend at least $25 to $40 every two months on that stuff. One, because the cups, you're going to get tired of cleaning the little um, sippy cups because they have little holes in it and they get dirty or um, they get worn out or she might bite them or she might lose a cup somewhere. The plates, when they start getting like stains in them from the, what type of things she's eating, whether it's pasta or whatever sauce on it, I throw them out and I get new plates. Um... High chair, she's using the same chair Anya had before. You know what I'm saying? If you're thinking about having more kids, save certain things. Childproofing. <laughs> I don't really spend money on childproofing things. I'll just use regular like rubber bands. And I like tie the cabinet doors together because I ain't got time. Um, pacifiers. I buy new pacifiers every three months because I buy three at a time when I buy them. Um, that can run you... 
that's not bad. Um, because they come in like different age ranges. So it's like zero to three, um, six months to 18 months and then so on and so on. Does she really need it? No, but I like to use it when I'm in the car and I need her to shut her mouth. I like to give it to her when she needs to go to sleep and chill out. Um, child care wise. Now these are ongoing costs. Okay. Your uterus might, um, close up at this moment and, uh, for the men out here, you might want to hold your balls back. But uh yeah, child care right now can run me at least a thousand two hundred a month between the both of them. Mostly for Ari, because I is in pre K, so she's free for um Georgia. But Ari is one thousand and sixty-nine dollars a month because she's considered a mobile infant, meaning she can walk around and do things. For herself, for the most part, she's just not potty trained and uh, she needs her diaper change around the clock. Feeding wise, I could spend a hundred before when she was getting formula, a hundred and five dollars a month on um formula. Um, if it's solid foods at the grocery store, I probably spend between the both of them two hundred and fifty dollars a month just on like their stuff. Um, diapering. Probably seventy two dollars a month. I probably spell on diapers, clothing between the both of them. Probably sixty dollars a month. Uh, medicine, probably twenty five dollars a month, depending on if it's a cold, if it's um, one of them constipated, if it's um, Benadryl cream for like bug bites, if it's whatever Benadryl, all of that. It can add up to just about that amount. Bath soaps and lotions and powders, probably $25 a month. Toys. I'm not really a big um, toy buyer. But for a monthly range, I would say about $20 a month. I probably spend on that stuff. So all of this stuff adds up. Not to add that you're going to lose sleep. They're going to wake you up when you don't want to wake up. Um, you're going to be delegated to go places for them that you don't want to go. You're going to lose going out with friends on a whim because everything has to be planned out. Who's going to be watching what, um, what time you're going to be back. You're going to lose quiet time right now. The only reason why I have quiet time right now in my house is because I forced both of them to take a nap at the same time. If I don't do that, one of them is going to take like a 30 minute nap. But one of them is just going to lay in the bed and not do anything. And I think I hear one of them right now, so I have to hurry up. Um, you're going to lose extra money. All that extra money you th- you had prior to you having these kids, that's gone, dog. That's gone unless you having some extra income coming on a consistent basis on the side. That extra money is gone because when I tell you your kids take everything, they take F. Every thing, every little thing you thought you had for yourself is now theirs, okay? My my cotton balls that I keep in my room, here go one. What are you? See? They take everything. So y'all, my cotton balls that I keep in my room, Ari takes them and she pulls them apart. But I'm just saying, the cost of kids, it is cheaper to go half on a baby with somebody else, right, Anya? Yeah. I'm telling y'all, I get it now. When I when I drop Anya off to school, and I see one parent coming in and drop them off, and I see the next parent come to pick them up, that's that's a team. But when you gotta be the team by yourself, Mommy, it's love hard. You. Love you too. Um, it's hard. Can you go wash your hands okay. in your face? Thank you. But y'all, this is Shan. I'm out. I gotta go run some errands with the both of them. Enjoy y'all day. And if you're smart, you'll go half on a baby and not try to do it yourself. Jesus. Anyway, y'all. Yeah. Go half. Um, take it from me. Mom of two. I'm trying to make it do what it do. By myself. Cause it's hard. Um, but I, I see why people... Mm-hmm. Either get married and go half on the cost of kids because they're expensive and it's easy um, schedule wise. Um. What? It's easy schedule wise to have 
help to tag somebody in throughout the day. Um, and that's what made sense. Mm. Hush. Say bye bye. Tell them bye. Don't push it. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. You gonna say bye? I'm about to go outside, y'all. I'm gonna comb you guys' hair. Alright. Deuces. This is Shan. This is Cozy Room, episode 46. <laughs> say bye bye. Say bye. Hello, Shan. Say bye.